Ahoy, Captain, and welcome to day four of our Marvel Day at Sea cruise. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. Well, that's right. Today is day four. It is our last at sea day. And look at the seas out there nice beautiful calm it's great because all the crew has been telling us how choppy it's been and they were really worried that we might not have a castaway day but it sounds like the weather's going to hold up so knock on wood knock on wood that's wood it's at least wood paneling that we can get into castaway key well here we have crystal she is trying to figure out what to put on the whiteboard here have we done a favorite disney character that's what i, I yeah that's what i was thinking Let's do that. Let's do favorite Disney character today. Because this cruise is like the most participating cruise we've had on our whiteboard. Like they fill it up every day. So don't you think this one could get kind of interesting? Like with their answers? Yeah. Especially yeah. since someone put Merida as their favorite Marvel yeah, character. Yeah. Merida was their favorite Marvel character. Obviously she's with DC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we have been up, if you can't tell. We've been up for a little bit. Uh, Crystal and I went to the gym. I actually went to the gym. I'm kind of proud of myself because I totally thought I would just stay in bed and not go this whole trip even though I wanted to go but I went and it was great and we got breakfast here's our breakfast check it out all right there they are the Mickey churro waffles they're only available so many days on the cruise they're not every day and today after our workout we decided let's go have cabanas they had them it's exciting we got hash brown sausage eggs eggs benedict giant bowl of fruit so that I don't feel bad about completely ruining what I just did in the gym. And we got coffee. Crystal got breakfast too, which is a shocker because she does not eat breakfast, but it's all beige. Except my fruit. Mickey churro waffles and bacon. fruit. Oh, and bacon. And chocolate chip muffin. Chocolate chip muffin and watermelon and grapes. Then we got Cove Cafe. And we're literally just sitting like, right there is Quiet Cove, but we want a table because there's no actual like table tables. So we'll eat here and then we'll go there. And then I forgot to mention in that clip, we got um, a coffee for free this morning because Cove Cafe gives those little coffee cards. And what Crystal does is she keeps them. So this is actually our second free coffee because after the first day we had to buy one more coffee and then we got a free one. So yes, we buy a lot of coffee. So it pays off because we got two free already. That was a nice little uh, treat this morning. So anyway, today, since it's our last at sea day, I think we're going to start off the day at the pool because obviously I need some more sun on my forehead here. The rest of it's came in as a tan, but right here, it's, it's a little tough. So I'm going to make sure I sunblock the living daylights out of my forehead today. So we're going to go to the pool. We will not bring you along because we don't like filming at the pool and I don't want to film at the pool. I want to enjoy the pool. Then there's a bunch of like random trivias we've never seen before. So we're gonna try and do some of those. Maybe bingo, who knows. And then we'll go from there. We have dinner at Animator's Palette tonight, which is back to the Animator's Palette menu and the show and all that. I think tonight is the show with Crush from Finding Nemo. But yeah, that's all we got going today. So we're gonna to go to the pool. We'll pick you guys up. When we're done at the pool. We're gonna go start our day with our trivias. All right, well, we are back from the pool. That was much needed, super fun, just relaxing. It didn't really start getting busy until about 11 o'clock. That was cool, like kind of just had our own little like area. It was really nice, and even when it got busy, it wasn't terribly busy. I just mean more people started showing up. Like I said, we needed some relaxation and some pool time. I love pool time on vacation. Like I sound like a five-year-old kid, but I do. We're back, we are changed, and I think we are going to head downstairs because if you didn't know, on a Marvel Day at Sea, the second sea day, they redo the pictures. So there's a lot of Marvel characters out. Plus the encounters are what we signed up for the other day. They're redoing those. So if you don't get them on the first day, you can sign up on the second sea day. And they're doing those again in all the same areas in Animator's Palette and D-Lounge. So you can get those again. And Crystal really likes Captain America, um, Sam Wilson, the new Captain America. So... 
She was like the one person who liked Falcon and Winter Soldier really. Like that was like her favorite Disney Plus show from all those shows. So she wants to go get her picture with him, but it was during one of our encounters the other day. So she didn't get it. So now she's going to go do that right now. So when she's ready, we're gonna head down, get in line, do that. Then we're gonna do some trivias. So yeah, we got, I mean, half the day's gone, but we still got a full day it feels like to do because there's so many activities we can go do. And if you look right there, we have a celebrity ship right off the side of our ship here. We were getting ready to go down to Trivia and Crystal was blow drying her hair. All of a sudden she said, look, there's a celebrity ship. And there has been a celebrity ship kind of following us around. They stopped the last couple nights, watched fireworks. So yeah, they, they're right there. I wonder if they're waving at us. We're, we're gonna wave at them. And our tradition continues. This is Crystal's like favorite movie in the world is Rescuers and is what plays all the time. Aristocats, Rescuers, and Rescuers Down Under are Crystal's Cruise movies. I'm a big goof troop guy, Aladdin. I've been putting Aladdin on a lot. But yeah, this is, I understand. We got Disney Plus at home. But like, it's just fun to watch these old movies from when we were kids, like here on the Disney Cruise. It's nostalgic. All right, here's our participation so far. Those three up top are ours. We got Stitch, Elsa, Anna, Stitch again, Mickey, and Yas Queen. That was Bryson. That was, yeah, that's how, that's pretty close to my handwriting actually. It could be me. So something they are doing that's really cool this afternoon. So if you have little ones that cannot stay awake or you have a Bryson that sometimes can't stay awake, they are doing a 1 p.m. showing of Beauty and the Beast today. So you can still see the show, plenty of time, and not have to worry about staying up too late tonight. So we did find some Marvel Day at Sea merchandise. They do have a pen here. And then they have this t-shirt for $29.99. And one of the cast members was telling me that there's only two Marvel Day at Seas left after this. So it's kind of like when you do an Alaska sailing at the end of the season. What merchandise they have is what they have. So unfortunately, since we did one later in the Marvel Day at Sea season, this is all they have left. So it's nothing I want, but there is something. So I'm just showing you. There is some shirt for $29.99. And the pen is $17.99. So there you go. Okay, so we were just walking by and like all of a sudden all the characters literally just ran out here. So we're just walking by, all of a sudden all the characters literally just run out here and they're having like a dance party down below and all the characters are dancing up here. How cool is this? Like we just literally happened to walk by going to trivia and there's like a horde of kids down below dancing and we just got the characters rocking out. Look at him go. Donald's got all the moves. Look at Donald going. He's got all the moves. Go, Donald. Shake your tail feather. We got Goofy getting down out there. Look at Goofy. He's getting down. He's trying to do the lawnmower, I think. This is so fun! Alright, this was so cool. Like, they're all back up here now. They're getting ready to leave. Like, I mean... They shot confetti off. Like, this is called the Magic Floor. We didn't think anything of it. We're just going to trivia. And I mean, they shot confetti off. Like, there's confetti all over down there. I mean, Crystal and I were jamming. Like, we were having a good time. All the characters each have their own song they dance to. Like, if you got little kids, you got big kids, you just wanna dance, come to this. Like, again, it was called the Magic Floor. I had no idea what it was. But I'm so glad we came to the atrium. It was so fun. Okay, so we are in Pub 687 doing Disney food trivia. And we were very curious what Three kind of questions these would be. There you go. Like the first question was how and many scoops of ice cream are in the sandwich. kitchen sink challenge at Beach Club? Pesto. It is a pesto. 
10. The iconic turkey oh, yeah. leg has been sold in all four parks, but where did it first appear? Magic Kingdom. Correct, it is Magic Kingdom. Got it. Good thing I said Liberty Square. He's like, Liberty Square and Epcot. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I totally messed it up. It was the exact yeah. Yeah. It is Sprinkle. We tied for first with 18 out of 20. Tiebreaker was what year did the Tiki Bar open in Disneyland? I said 1961. Crystal said I was way off, so we changed it to 73. We were way the way answer off. was 1961. <laughs> However, someone got it. Someone got it. No, I'm sorry. The answer was 1963. I said 61. And someone got it square on. So we wouldn't have mattered anyway. But we had fun. Fun was had. Crystal has no idea I'm filming her this whole time. It's, oh, no. I thought you were filming <laughs> No. Literally filmed you the whole time. Oh, sorry. Yep, welcome to the vlog. Hi. All right, we are here in Evolution. This is where a lot of the big uh, trivias and game shows take place. And we are doing the afternoon of Disney Trivia Tunes. No, Disney Tunes Trivia. That's what we're playing. Yes. So we're in our normal spot. We won here last night. Hopefully we can win here again. Disney Tunes Trivia is pretty tough. I mean, no joke. They... They play some old, old music. I hope they have the piano player. Remember, we had the piano player from The Wonder, and he was no also piano. on The Wish. Oh, there's no piano in here, yeah. So anyway, we had a piano player on The Wonder. He played the tunes on the piano for us. And when we were on The Wish last February, he was also on The Wish. So we've got him twice, and he's really good. He does such a good job. But yeah, there's no piano in here, so we're just probably playing over the speakers. Now, let me introduce myself to everyone. Some of you I know, some of you I may not. My name is Dominique. I am your host with the most Hot Mess Express, all the way from Texas, y'all. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Do we have any other Texans in the building? Yay, I've got so much stuff on the Star State today. Thank you. I appreciate you. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to play them all twice and twice only. How many times? Twice. Twice. It is your job to write down the name of the movie and song. The name of the movie and the name of the song, all right? Here we go. That's all you get. I didn't say it was going to be easy. I knew it. I got one. We got the first one. And we put out the rest. Sure. Hot hors d'oeuvres. From Dumbo. Everybody's going to cry now. Are you crying? No. Crystal's crying, guys. Number Dumbo seven. makes her cry just hearing the song. Each other's heart, get it! Heart and maybe love is a reason why. First time ever seeing it eye to eye. Yeah. Come on. All right, no. Wait, what? I had to sing this. Oh, hold on. I had to sing this at a choir concert in like fourth grade. Oh, Crystal had a choir concert solo of Candle of Wine. Wow. Candle in the Water, that's what. All right, so we are at Beauty and the Beast trivia now. Well, we're not at, we're in the same room. We just stayed here. We got 30 out of 40. We got 30 out of 40 for the Disney tunes, which was like middle of the road, because there were some people who like almost got perfect scores, and some of those were really hard. So good work. But this is Crystal's movie. So this is Crystal's time to shine. She loves Beauty of the Beast. So here we go. What did the old woman offer the prince in return for shelter for the night? Now this is all the way at the beginning of the story, so you gotta think we got all it. the way yeah. back to that Promise? Yeah. prologue okay. number 19. What book does thou read to the beast in the Broadway version of the story? Don't. All right, we don't sound too sure about this one. She reads him King Arthur. Wow. If you send Romeo and Juliet, what color was Belle's dress when she received the library? Green. 
Oh, it's green. It's green. Bryson got that one right. You Crystal. You got it Crystal right. told me I was wrong, and it was blue. It was green. We got 19 out of 20, guys. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Unless someone got a perfect score, I think we're good. Oh, man. We'll let you know. We got 19 out of 20. Someone did get 20 out of 20, though. That's crazy. I couldn't even... We missed one. I couldn't even tell you which one we missed. It was a multiple choice one. Oh, the La Plume one. Yeah. Because I thought La Plume sounded we cool. We didn't even know what the show yeah. was. Yeah, we didn't even... It was a cartoon we'd never seen. So, <laughs> anyway, we'll accept 19 out of 20. Yeah. Well, after trivia, we came to drown our sorrows of losing with 19 out of 20 points with some pizza and chicken tenders. I'm going to have a cheeseburger. Why not, right? Cruise food. All right, there's our board. I just came back to the room to change clothes for the show, Beauty and the Beast, and dinner at Animator's Palette tonight. Crystal had already changed, so she was good. There we go. And we also, we got a first place medal from someone that said they loved our door. How cool is that? That's awesome. Thank you, whoever did that. That was very cool. And we've got all kinds of pixie dust stuff. We got like a little Funko Pop Groot. That was awesome. Oh, just saw that. Someone else liked our door. That's awesome. Thank you all so much. Well, we're here on deck four in the atrium. We're gonna get our picture here with Donald Duck. As you can see, it's just kind of a mellow evening so far in the atrium. Few people. Tonight is optional formal night. If you don't wanna dress up, you do not have to. And if you wanna dress up, you can dress up as much as you want. That's one of the great things we love. We do not dress up formal formally, but we do not dress down either. So it's whatever you want. They call it cruise casual. And the violin player is back tonight for some live music. Like I said, it is optional formal night. They're doing formal pictures over there on the staircase. But I'm wearing a polo short and shorts. I can go do those pictures too. Like I say, it's your cruise. Disney does not require you to dress up. Follow the dress code, you are good to go. I mean, look, those, that family's dressed as Iron Man. They're having just as much fun. Ears. Oh, yeah. I know, Donald, oh, you are them. Number one. He has always been number one. <laughs> he is. And look, you're on the back, too. Look, you're on the back. Yeah, look, you're on the back. Yeah, look, you're on the So we didn't know they have these mosaics and a chair here that's fit for the queen. Here's the queen. She usually does this on the first day. We kind of forgot. So here we are. We're going to take her picture now so that she can have a picture of her moment as being the queen. All right, we are ready for Beauty and the Beast tonight here in the Walt Disney Theater. Disney Dream was our first Disney cruise. So this was the first ever show we saw on the Disney Cruise Line. And still to this day, it goes back and forth. 1A, 1B, I would say with uh, the new Little Mermaid show and the Tangled show. They all fight for that top spot. All right, well, I just ran upstairs after Beauty and the Beast, dropped my hat off, combed my hair, get ready for dinner. Crystal's downstairs, she's taking some pictures right now while she's waiting for me, but that show, wow. So the old show, the live action hadn't been made yet. So obviously they didn't have anything from the live action movie when we saw it the very first time back in 2017, or they hadn't adapted it yet at least. Now it has some of the live action movie in it. It is even better than it was before. Like, I, I love it. It's such a good show, so fun. Definitely, if you're on the Disney Dream, go see Beauty and the Beast. It is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm gonna go find my wife. She's in the lobby having pictures, and we're gonna go have dinner at Animator's Palette. So it is a party out here in the atrium. We have our violinist I showed you earlier. Tiana just showed up, Stitch was dancing. I mean, it's a party down here. It's packed. There's people everywhere and the officers are out. If you didn't know, on optional formal night, it is sometimes called the Captain's Gala. The officers come out, you can greet them. You can get their autographs. Sometimes they trade pins even. So just be ready for anything. It's a fun time. Then we even got like a Taylor Swift violin party going on out here. Here we go, they're gonna all sing. They're having a good time. So we uh, we tried to get to 2000s music trivia, but our picture with Pluto turned out super cute. Here it is. 
but uh, it took a little longer than we thought, so we're late. So we're just enjoying ourselves back here by the bar. Stage is somewhere up there. Sad. Sad we didn't get here in time to compete. Crystal knows them. Crystal knows them. She's singing some Skater Boy. Man, this was our this was our music, like college music. See, so look at her go. Look at that, two nights in a row, she's giving you guys a Britney show. You gotta keep singing or we'll get copyrighted. <laughs> We would have totally won this. We've only missed like two. So we have concluded our jam session in Evolution. We made our way to Animator's Palette. And right here, the black truffle pasta presets. That will be had. They are delicious. My, one of my favorite items in all the dining rotations. The potato cheddar soup is good. And then the grilled tuna steak is very good. The pork chop. Like I say every night, you can't go wrong with the tenderloin. Crystal likes that jumbo shrimp salad on the lighter note side. And like I said, there's plenty of vegetarian options and lighter side options if you want. And tonight's spread is one of my favorites. It is a roasted garlic spread with focaccia bread and these like crumbly farmhouse rolls. Don't worry about those. Go for the focaccia bread and that roasted garlic spread. Phenomenal. We got Dorian Marlin joining Crush over there. So Crush is going to go around the restaurant. He's going to talk to everybody, see how their food is. I bet we find Nemo eventually. It's a nice little show. And here they are. I got a double order of black truffle pyro sets. And that's why they look a little clumped because I put both together. So this isn't the normal presentation. This is the Bryson forgot to film and combine both of his plates. Crystal also got two orders of this. That's how much she likes it. So there you go. So I totally forgot Crystal got the baked potato soup. It was obviously good, it's gone. So there, there you go. Crystal eat an entire bowl of soup. That tells you something's good right there. Well, dinner has arrived quickly tonight. This is the grilled tuna steak. This is delicious. I have got this numerous times. It's got like a potato hash going on right here. Really good. And then I also got the herb crusted pork chop with this tomato risotto. Very, very good. The pork chop can sometimes be tough, but our server said if it's tough, just let me know, he'll give me another one, no problem. But Crystal also got the grilled tuna steak. So like I said, if Crystal gets it, it's gotta be. Okay, so the pork chop, I think it's cooked really well. It has good flavor. It's not tough. Pork's really easy to make tough, but there's like a half inch of just loose breadcrumbs on it. So <laughs> just be ready, it's, there's a lot of breadcrumbs. Just scrape off what you don't want, but it is good. It, it's got flavor. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I ordered it. Not my favorite thing, but not the worst thing I've ever had. We got, we got Crush talking about doing double backflips and this little kid is just having a blast with Crush right now. Hilarious. Oh, uh, blue kisses to each other. So here we have our dessert menu. We got coffees, espressos. Those are an extra charge. It says right there, available at additional cost. We got your after dinner martinis, selection of after dinner drinks if you'd like one. We got the cookies and cream sundae. I'm a sucker for anything cookies and cream and probably the lemon icebox pie. That's pretty good too. Chocolate fudge cheesecake's good. And I think I've had all the desserts here over the years and I've never had a bad dessert. What can I say? You don't look like an athletic specimen like me unless you get all the desserts. So we are not at Royal Palace. We are here at Animator's Palette. But since they all share a kitchen, you can get the desserts or entrees from the other restaurants. So Miss Lactose Intolerant over there, <laughs> she got a double souffle. Thank you so much. Wow, good thing I brought her some lactate from the room. You're the best. Wow. Thank you. I better take some more. Alright, so I just dug on in, but this is a cookies and cream sundae. The only thing missing is a white chocolate square I ate. And that is the lemon icebox pie. If you like lemon, it's for you. Alright, here to end the night. Here is all our answers for our question. 
Somebody didn't like their answer, apparently. And no clue what that is. But yas queen. And it looks like we have a little doggy. A little doggy stole crystal sunglasses. And I got the chocolates. Thanks for the chocolates, doggy. All right, so here we are, Bryson on the couch time. And uh, a, little, a little sad, because we got our gratuity envelopes. And if you don't know what these are, these are for your stateroom host or hostess, your server, your assistant server, and your head server. And you get charged X amount per day per person in your stateroom. And now you can prepay these, which we did. We prepaid them and that gratuity goes directly to those people. It's split up however they split it up. And these envelopes, you can either put your little slip that comes on the piece of paper that tells you how much that person's getting. You usually put the slip in like some more cash in there. So it's not, the gratuity is not a lot. Like it's really not, I want to say it's $15 a day. I'm not good with, I, I should know this, but they've raised it since the last time I cruised. And I'm not exactly sure. It used to be like $12.50 or something like that. It's like $15 a day per person. So like $30 a day for Crystal and I. So, I mean, they work hard. Like everybody we've had. I mean, we literally just sat downstairs and our server was done serving for the night. And he sat with us for 15 minutes and just talked about his entire career and his life. It was awesome getting to know him. So our stateroom attendant, he has been amazing. You know how you know they're amazing? You don't have to see them. Like... Everything we've asked him for, he's done. I mean, he's very polite every time we see him in the hallway and our room is immaculate every time we come back. It's nicely turned down or cleaned if it's a certain time of day, like, it's awesome. It's been very good, very attentive. That's all I can ask for. So the service on the Dream has been amazing. So we'll be making sure we take care of them because they work hard for this money. So it's up to you though. And if you want to, if you don't have cash, you can go to guest services. You can ask them to change the amount and they'll print off a new slip for you. So, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to leave more, you can. If you don't want to, that is perfectly fine and you can do whatever you want. So there you go. There's that. That's why it's sad though, because that means the cruise is coming to an end because tomorrow, Castaway Key, last day, went quick, five nights, went quick. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Nice, relaxing at sea day, lots of pool time after the gym, basically the whole morning, literally the whole morning, because we came back at noon exactly. Went and did some trivias, dinner, saw Beauty and the Beast, which was awesome. Uh, tonight in Evolutions, they're having the magician that we saw the other night. He's doing an adult-only show, which usually is pretty good, because we've seen other magicians on other ships do when they do the adult-only show, and it's pretty funny, but we're both beat, and we're supposed to be getting into Castaway Key tomorrow at like 7 a.m., and I love getting up and like watching us come into the island and watching them load and unload everything. So I can't wait for that. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to catch up with you all tomorrow. We're going to go Castaway Key. We're going to go snorkeling. We're going to eat a barbecue. And we're going to go Serenity Bay. Okay? All right. I will see you all in the next one. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. Click that like button. And click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we put out a new video. But most importantly, thank you all so much for watching, and for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We